One of the best things that you can do for yourself is surround yourself with good people. I'll talk a little bit more about that after this. In the last video, I talked about not keeping your production team out of the loop of what you have going on. One of the other things that you should really think about is making sure you have a good administrative team to help you when things go crazy. Now what I'm referring to obviously is like when I had my stroke, it was the folks that stepped up that weren't necessarily employees that knew my business, uh, understood what was going on and what needed to happen. And that was key, such as having a good accountant in place. Um, my, I've been with my accountant for a number of years, at close to 10, and he's helped me over the years restructure my business, uh, make sure my taxes are in place, um, all this other stuff. So he understood where, where things were, and not only that, he also had it had worked with me to develop um, uh, relationships with someone to handle my IRA and also to get the power of attorney, which was very key for the simple fact that you have to have other folks to step in to get in inside your banking because you need folks to step in with something really critical happens to you. As an owner, it sometimes feels like you're on an island. But in essence, if you're building good relationships, you have people to understand what the next steps are. And so, like I mentioned prior, I had a really good friend of mine who understood my business. His business was in the same space as I was. He understood what we were doing. He was able to step in and project manage and um, client manage while I was in the hospital very suddenly. Aside from that, my sister and my stepdad came in to sign the power of attorney that was recommended by my accountant so that they could make decisions on my banking, um, get inside uh, any of the other administrative stuff that has to happen while I'm away, I'm indisposed, I'm in the hospital for 10 days, uh, what's going on? I'm the, I'm the top of the food chain of my own business and that's how that, that works. So understanding that you may need to build a team of people to help you run this that may not be in the building with you, but that can step in. Um, of course, in my case, uh, my friend uh, Malik, who was able to project manage and client manage, he was technically in the same building, but even if um, I was to go out again, trust me, that's not in the plan, that's not in the books, but he would be able to still step in and understand the flow, the project management, the client management of that. Um, and I was real appreciative of his ability to understand how I ran things. And so with that, um, we were able to figure out, we were able to do deposit checks or pay some bills when all of those stuff, um, send some bills out, you know, stuff like that for the simple fact that I was out, I was the key employee, if you want to call it that, but nothing faltered, nothing ran um, poorly for the simple fact that I inadvertently built a team that was ready to pick up when I went down. Um, I'll be more strategic about it going forward because I didn't expect something like this to happen to me. And I'm sure that all of the folks that were involved in trying to keep this business afloat didn't expect it either. But I was very, very much appreciative of what that um, did for me and how that helped. And um, it, was, it was interesting when I was in the hospital, it, those three folks that I mentioned, my sister, my stepdad, and uh, Malik would sit down and just have like 
staff meetings <laughs> while, I'm, while I'm recovering in my hospital room, trying to pay attention to what, because I'm being pumped full of drugs, but it was, it was, it was awesome to see them stop by and check in and knowing that things were not only taken care of business-wise with clients, and, but also my production team knowing that, you know, things are okay. So it was huge to just make sure you think about those things as well. So please watch some of the other videos that I have on this subject matter. They're labeled Paul Talks. You can, there's two or three of them at this point. Plus watch all the other videos on our channel. We have a lot of stuff coming up. We have some new interns. And so check out all those videos. Follow us on our blog or check out our website. See us on social media. There's a lot happening and we don't want you to miss it. See you next time.